Hello Army OGs, welcome to the first video of this channel. This is Valrion and this short video will be a tutorial on how to use the in-game soul calculator. The soul calculator was introduced to the global server with the arrival of the new game engine in the last half of 2020 and has become a fundamental component of the game. Its function, as its name suggests, is to scan through a player's souls and give an optimal soul build for the criteria that the player specifies. Mastering the soul calculator is key to harnessing the full potential of your souls. To access the soul calculator, you will need to click on your Shikigami page, then navigate to the desired Shiki and access its soul details. At the bottom, there is a button called Soul Configuration. Click on that to bring up the Soul Calculator interface. Okay, let's walk through everything on this screen. First is the button for Soul Sets. This button lets you inform the calculator that you want a specific 4 or 2 set bonus for this Shiki. In this scenario, we'll be crafting a general Seductress Songtress DPS set for Ubermay. The first time you click on this plus button will prompt you to select the 4 set bonus and once selected the second click will ask if you desire a particular 2 set bonus in which you could either leave blank or in this case put in the boss soul songtress. If you wish to not put in a 4 set bonus but have the calculator piece together 3 2 set bonuses then you should select the 2 set bonus box up here. This is an example of using 3 2 piece sets in which I am combining 3 boss souls. Next up is the indicator. The indicator is the main criteria that the calculator uses to determine if a particular combination is better than the other. There are many different indicators and you can pick and choose based on what you need. Remember, there are many more options than what is shown at first and you could access them by scrolling down. For pure stat indicators like attack, defense, speed, effect hit, effect res, the calculator simply takes the highest of them. For more complex indicators like what we are choosing, damage, the calculator measures the total amount of damage that the Shikigami can output in the event of a crit, and that is through multiplying the attack stat and the crit damage stat and assigning them a score based on that multiplication. You will see more when it is finalized. The next three options allow you to include or exclude different main stat options for the souls in position 2, 4, and 6. When you select an indicator, certain main stats will be automatically be included or excluded, but could then be customized based on what you need. For example, the damage indicator selects only attack bonus for slot 2 and 4, while slot 6 is limited to only crit and crit damage, which is perfectly fine in this scenario for Ubermay. However, if I want to run a Shigigami like Shirinoi for PvP who might need a HP slot on slot 4, I could then ask the calculator to factor in that slot for HP while still maximizing damage as the indicator. If I switch to a speed indicator, slot 2 becomes locked on speed while all main stats are included in slots 4 and 6. I encourage new players to play around and see what main stats are recommended for each indicator. At the top of the second column is a very important aspect of the calculator, the stats range. This allows you to set floors and ceilings for the calculator. As I mentioned previously, the calculator on damage indicator calculates a score based on attack multiplied by crit damage. However, the calculator will not factor in the crit rate and assume that the damage will automatically crit, which in which the final soul configurations it will not have that crit rate we desire, which is 100%. Therefore, for DPS Shikis, we must ensure that the calculator knows to build in 100% crit and we specify it in the stats range. Going to crit, we then set the floor to 100 by either manually typing it in or we can click this very convenient button right here. Another important stat to set floors or ceilings to is speed, and that is known as speed tuning. But for this example, we aren't really picky about Ubermay's speed, so we will leave it alone. Other Shikis may be picky about other certain stats, so it is here where you inform the calculator of those, 
It's a bit like a restaurant where you inform the chef of certain allergies or specifications. Next up is the Exclude Profile button. Here you may tell the calculator to ignore certain souls when searching for souls to build the sets. This is very handy when crafting an entire team of Shikigami in which you still want the calculator to search through all your souls but not use the ones that are already on the team. Just tick the presets you want excluded and it's done. The next option is a broad version of the previous exclude profile. Here you may ask the calculator to access all your souls or just the unequipped ones. Be warned that if you ticked unequipped and the calculator will ignore any really good souls you have lying on previously used shikis that you probably forgot to fully unequip. Finally, we have grade and level checkboxes. If you have a lot of G6, feel free to leave G6 only ticked. If you are a new player and wants to use your G4s and 5s, make sure to leave this unchecked. Same goes for max level, in which the calculator will then only search for level 15 souls. Now that we have made the configurations for Ubume, we press the start button to let the calculator go to work. What shows up will be a number of configurations that scored the highest according to the indicator. Because we have selected damage, the score is based on attack multiplied by crit damage. We can see that 7718.6 multiplied by the crit damage of 251.9, which is a 2.519 multiplier, will get a score of 19,441. Now we can select the leftmost for the highest score. There are two buttons underneath. The leftmost will allow you to immediately equip the soul onto the Shigami, or the right one will allow you to save the configuration as a soul preset. One thing to note here is that you may sort these top damage scores through other metrics. If you don't particularly care about grabbing the highest damage set, since their scores are so similar, and perhaps want one with the highest HP, you can click this button to open up a list in which you may sort these suggested configurations by criteria. So picking this one will grab me the Uberman with the highest HP while maintaining close to top damage as my souls can manage. If you wish to rework your selections, you may then click the recalculate button to return back to the configuration page. If you have specified rules to the calculator that are impossible for it to build any set with, then it will return an error message. For example, telling the calculator that I want a 200 speed seductress songtress ubume while forcing attack indicator for slot 2 will be giving the calculator an impossible job. And so, it will turn out an error like this. Alright, so that is the basics for the soul calculator. Let's do some example building. First up, we're going to build a Kuro Mujo with Shadow Auto above 120 speed. So for Kuro Mujo specifically, we want to make sure that he only has 50% crit because his skills provide him with an additional 50% crit. So, in the stat range section, we want to make sure that the crit isn't at 100% floor, but instead at a 50% floor. And this is the result that comes up. For the final example, let's try something more difficult. When you may ask a veteran player for advice, let's say you want to try out Ubume for speed clearing exploration chapter 28. They may provide some kind of information like this. They will list out the souls necessary for the Shikigami and then provide a random number which is a damage score, just like the soul calculator. If you can meet this damage score while adhering to all the uh, prerequisites such as the souls and the speed limit, let's say the Shadow Auto 18.7k, then you should be able to do whatever the task is, provided the information is correct. So in this case, I want to build Shadow Auto on Ubume and set a speed floor of 128 because the instructions are for pre-star, referring to moving ahead of Seimei. Okay, 
So once I finish building, as you can see here, I am 18.5k, which is actually 2k below the necessary damage needed to clear. But we're going to test it out anyways. So as you can see that if you are below the damage threshold you will, be able, you will not be able to clear it completely and you will leave it with a sliver of HP. So this time we'll try it with auto Kuro only and according to my souls it meets the criteria. All right, and that'll be all for today. Hope you learned something about the Soul Calculator. Um, I guess, yeah, just leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of these kinds of content. Uh, share this with your friends if you think they need help with the Soul Calculator. And that'll be all. Thank you so much. Bye.